When we first came to tour this space, it was a typical 1960s row house, parquet floors, compartmentalized rooms. It was all the original details. And when I say details, there really were no details. Right, and what Melissa and I wanted to achieve here for them is to keep a consistent, harmonious look throughout the house. So by doing this, we tore down all the walls, we created one color through the whole space, and we did wide plank, reclaimed wood flooring throughout. Once we decided to open the whole space up, we needed something that was a, a big impact when you came in the front door, so that was blowing the back wall off the house. We literally put wall-to-wall -wall glass, and that kind of set the tone. So it was bright open space, and the palette's really neutral. So by creating that back whole window and keeping it all open, it brought in the light, and you really don't see that you're in a small, tight space. So for the design of this main floor, we created four specific zones. The kitchen, the dining, the sort of lounge area for the kids to be interacting, and the living room. So for the kitchen, it was about as much storage as possible. So we did this long bank of tall, closed storage on the left, and then kept it really clean on the right, and that allowed us to have an island at a space where it should have been too tight, but it works because everything's really minimal. And then the palette is really, it's just a, an off-white cabinet the side wall is actually a shade darker, just to add a bit of depth. And then the charcoal gray Caesar stone counter, the marble backsplash. It sets the tone for the, the palette throughout. The fabrics sort of carry that gray and white. The dining room right off the kitchen, really, we didn't want it to feel like a dining room. We wanted it to feel as much as part of the kitchen and the other rooms as everything else. So we took this one long wall and created a full banquette a, almost a built-in piece of furniture sofa feel and custom made our dining table a long communal dining table. It actually anchors the middle of the room and flanked it with some modern chairs and gave it this feel as part of the whole space instead of just a designated dining room. Rather than adding to a formal living room, we wanted more of a casual lounge seating area right off the dining area. The kids do homework, they read, they want an area to lounge if in the evening they're having a cocktail party, it's just another seating area. So we got great leather chairs, we did a custom furniture art piece that also seconds as awesome storage. So in this space we created a less formal lounge area. When Melissa and I did a site visit during construction, we realized that the living room didn't really have the formal feel that we needed to achieve. So we created a whole fireplace area, beautiful designed, custom made bookcases to flank either side. Kept it very harmonious, but with little accents of detail as far as pattern in the chair. The surface of the cocktail table was marble. Everything else was really pale in comparison. Nothing's too precious, and the kids feel like they can still climb up on the wicker chairs in the window. Um, but just those little details, like that wicker element and the marble, elevates it enough to make the formal feeling they wanted. When it came to the stairs to get to the second level, it had really ugly builder-style picket. So we just chose something that still had a bit of traditional element to it, and painted it out and added a handrail, which we actually black lacquered to give it a little more contemporary feel. The stairs themselves are in the same material as the floor, but we wanted to soften it, again, just creating that kind of harmonious palette. So we added a beautiful wool runner up the stairs. Upstairs, there's three principal rooms, two for the children and one master. And we actually were able to create a bigger shared bathroom for the kids. So in the master bedroom, we wanted to add a little bit of drama and some contrast in that bedroom, so we did that with the headboard. It's this beautiful, dark charcoal, upholstered headboard. The light fixture is a, a dark metal, so it's just that little bit of that luxury. This is a downtown, a bit smaller home. Sometimes you don't have room for this grand suite, but we're able to kind of steal space, you know, take a closet, and we were able to fit in a beautiful master ensuite. 
And then to make up for that closet we removed, we did a wall of custom storage, which is great. Visually, it's not overpowering, but it's a ton of storage. Again, to give this home a more contemporary feel, we kept the same color throughout and we kept the same flooring. This is actually from our own collection, grain floors. It comes in a variety of finishes and is a great oiled natural floor. On our client's wish list, there was a playroom for children, there was a gym, an office, a mudroom. Where were we going to find all this space? The basement was perfect. We gutted it and everything that was on that wish list, we actually designed in that space. Yeah. We changed the door to all glass and the light that filters into the back office yes. is a great workspace and we cladded one wall in bookcases and tucked a little sofa in between the bookcases so it actually feels like this great office space. And the kids area is great to watch TV. And yeah, a wall of chalkboard paint and foosball. Mm -hmm. That is right. just the, the area to have fun. The mudroom, it was sort of that cold storage under a porch, which is kind of typical. So we were able to punch a glass door out through, and it's a cute mudroom with lockers. Yeah. I'm pretty impressed with everything we got in. I love the finished product. Even though there's no room for a family room here, we were able to bring a bit of that in. They wanted a large master suite. We were able to steal space to do that. Really, in the end, they got everything they wanted in a slightly tweaked version of. Right, and we work with a great contractor, Matu Building, and alongside us designing and him doing the, the construction part, it really was a seamless renovation.